As we told you earlier, Senator Arlen Specter back in the ring this morning at State College, Pennsylvania. He's getting another shot at handling protesters who were out in force at his event yesterday. Here's one more of the notable exchanges from yesterday. You want to be let out of here, you're welcome to go. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, wait a minute. I'm not a lobbyist with all kind of money to stuff in your pocket so that you can tr cheat the, the pit citizens of this country. So I'll leave and you can do whatever the hell you please to do. And there you have it, uh, that exchange landing him on the front page of some of the big daily papers today. Yep, and he joins us right now, in fact, uh, with us live from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Craig Miller. Uh, Mr. Miller, welcome to the program. I, I, I think, I know that you represent uh, a lot of folks, as uh, Claire, Claire McCaskill just said, who are, are upset. Uh, what makes you the most frustrated? That I was lied to. Well, about what? Well, I, I, a week before the town meeting, I called Senator Specter's office and talked to one of his people. I never, I never attended a town hall meeting before, so I called his office to find out all the particulars as to what was going to happen because I, I had a whole litany of things I wanted to discuss, not ask questions, but to, do, to discuss, and I went over things with, with the gentleman I talked to, and I told him more or less what I wanted to so, but, discuss. Yeah, but what, to what, what, what were the things, what do you want to discuss? What do you feel like is not being discussed that, is, that needs to be? Well, I wanted to discuss how how the president has broken his oath of office. He took the oath twice on January the 20th and within well it's been less than than 7 months. And he's broken his oath. And how, where, where, where specifically, where specifically do you feel like he's broken his oath? Well, I have a list of thirty-one. Give me your, give me your top three. Thirty-one czars. Give me, give me your, so you, the czars are, are are one objection. What else? Well, if thirty-one czars. He, the, just naming them czars, he's broken the oath. Breaking the oath, I mean, it, it is, is major. I, he should keep that oath for, for the four years. I mean, it, once you break the oath, that's the main, that's the main thing. I mean, it, and so for you, he, that. And what about the meeting if, yesterday? If, what what happened? If he what breaks was your, the what? oath, you can't trust you can't trust the man it, to 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 keep his word on the health care bill. If he if he can't be trusted to keep the oath of office, how can you trust him on the health care bill? On the on cap and trade on. Understood. So your point is you don't trust the president. Your your overall point is you don't trust the president. Period. H how do you? I don't trust. I don't trust Pelosi. I don't trust Harry Reid. I don't trust Steny Hoyer. I don't trust Barney Frank. I want to see. I want to see uh, an accounting of the. I want to see them do an accounting of the feather, of the the. Talk to me the if you, Federal if you, Reserve. Yep, yeah, the the the, the, ba the bank bailouts. Talk to me about if you could about your experience yesterday. Why did you feel the need to to be I, as aggressive as you told, were? I was told that I by 
by our inspectors people that there was going to be an open forum and I would and I would have at least five minutes of my time I was guaranteed that I would get a chance to talk and I get there at the meeting and I, I'm sitting there and 30 cards were handed out to people to, to write down questions and ask questions. 30 cards were handed out. And I mean, I've never been at a meeting before. Yeah. And why, what was I doing there if, if I wasn't going to be able to ask any questions? I mean, it was useless yeah, no, I understand. to be there. So I got up to leave. I got up to leave, and some bruiser grabs me, tells me to sit down. Nah, he had no right to tell me to sit down when I'm trying to leave. I'm trying to leave, and all of a sudden I'm swarmed by police officers. And all inspectors grabbing me. I I wanna I wanna I wanted to see I wanted to talk to our inspector to see if he could do something about the Constitution. How, how do you feel the day after? In other words, the Constitution. Do you do you feel? How do you I feel, feel that today? Today. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that uh, our government's crooked, that most of our politicians are, are uh, criminal, to say the least, instead of this health bill being something that we should be going after, I mean, they're, these 31 uh, czars had their hands into this, and we don't have any idea because the, we have no oversight yep. with them. Their agendas are, are, su are all suspect. None of us have any idea what they're there for yep. because they haven't been they, they, none of them went through any confirmation like they should have by the Constitution. Yeah. Mr. Miller, thank you. Uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm for gonna... any kind of health, for any kind of health, national health care, there should have been tort reform. Yeah. There should have been. Well, there's still more conversation to come. Uh, uh, Mr. They, Miller, but I'm gonna... lot, they, there's. Sh there's more conversation yes. to come. I understand, and I appreciate you're making some time to talk to us. Um, thank you, Mr. Miller. Craig Miller, uh, one of the attendees uh, from the, uh, yesterday's town hall meeting with Arlen, Arlen Specter, expressing his frustrations. I